Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to the FIFA 20 Sunderland career mode. So, we have Liverpool in our next game in round 5 of the FA Cup. We did just beat them with the under-23s in the Carabao Cup final 2-1. Uh, moving into the Premier League, we are third in the table. And we have Watford in the next game in that competition. So, pretty sure we've got the second leg against Monaco as well. That'll probably be a sim game. Uh, considering we're 4-0 up, so we shouldn't technically get beat in that match, if that makes sense. But anyway, we'll see what happens. But yeah, moving into this Liverpool game, going with the rotation team, let's jump into it. Alright, like I said, lads and ladies and everyone else, um, going with the rotation team, uh, Anfield, FA Cup, 5th round, Martinelli starts down the right-hand side, everyone else is looking pretty decent. The only person, well, I say the only person under 80 is Mohamed Hassan and Antoine Semenyo who's on the bench. Uh, but Hassan there, uh, 75 rated. He's now, he's now a goal player, lads. He's now a goal player. Hopefully he can do the business for us up top with Martinelli and Dembele supplying the crosses. De Bruyne supplying the through balls. Let's see what happens. All right, lads. I am expecting this Liverpool side to be tired. I say this because they've just played us in uh the carabao cup but they may not have recovered as well as we have because we have multiple teams and we did play the under 23s so i'm expecting you know i'm expecting a lot here um from the boys not so much from liverpool cross to the back post it's mohammed hassan that's one nil that is easy pickings Ladies and gentlemen, camera's glitching out, so I'm just going to skip that. But yeah, it is 1-0 Mohamed Hassan. Good tackle, Brandon Williams on Mohamed Salah. Mumba out to out to Aaron's down the line for Martinelli at the back post. Is De Bruyne. I was waiting to see what happened from that. And it is 2-0 across to the back post yet again. Camera's glitching out, so I'll skip. But yeah, it is 2-0 with Antoine De Bruyne. Good tackle, Bali Mumba. De Bruyne. Through for Mohamed Hassan. Time and space. Mohamed Hassan, good finish. 3 0. Ruben Samoud. Gabriel Martinelli. Three on the keeper. It's Semenyo! <laughs> Antoine Semenyo comes on for his debut and gets on the score sheet. Ladies and gentlemen, Antoine Semenyo, welcome to the club. Williams. Through for Samut. Ruben Samut with the finish for five. And I definitely think this is game over. All right, guys, and your man of the match was Mohamed Hassan with a 9.6 rating. Antoine Semenyo there coming on. In about the 70th minute, he got 9.1. Antoine De Bruyne there, 9.4. Gabriel Martinelli, 9.5. Everyone else had a really, really good game. That was a really solid performance from the boys. Took advantage of the fact that Liverpool played the exact same team, so that means they were tired from a game against us two days beforehand. So they didn't have time to recover. That's why I played with the rotation team, because they were fully recovered and fully fit. All right, guys, and same game against Watford. So going with the... Well, I'm going with the first team plus De Bruyne, because... Shit happens. Uh, <laughs> basically, Haaland's still injured. Uh, it's a skip job. It's a hat trick for De Bruyne, who comes in at striker. Um, he completely dismantles Wofford. Fair. All right, and sim game against Monaco. So this is the second leg of the Champions League tie that we were 4-0 up in. So it's a skip job. It's a 3-1 victory, so it's 7-1 on aggregate. Um, what appears to be Andre Silva there, maybe? Um, getting Monaco's goal, but Max Aaron's Martinelli and De Bruyne getting ours. All right, guys, and just a quick little update that Jeremy Frimpong has been sold. Um, he has gone to Manchester United for £69.6 .6 million, pounds, so 645 of that will be added to our transfer budget as soon as the window opens. All right, sixth round of the FA Cup, ladies and gentlemen. It is Manchester United at the Stadium of Light. Erling Haaland returns from injury. He'll only probably play the first half. Maybe 50, 60 minutes just to get some fitness back into him. Um, and then I'll probably bring on De Bruyne or maybe Hassan. Or maybe even Martinelli, who knows. But anyway, yeah, Haaland will not finish the game. But we'll see how this goes. Manchester United should be a difficult little team to break down. 
Um, Alfonso Davies there is up to 90 rated. I'm happy with that. Uh, Reese James there is up to 88 as well. Tito Fernandez joins Melanda at 85. And Greenwood is still 79. Hopefully he gets up to 80 shortly. All right, listen, yeah. Game crashed twice. And now all of a sudden I'm playing Manchester City in the sixth round, not Manchester United. I have no idea what's going on. Bear in mind, the last time the game was saved was after the Liverpool match. So I assume that's why we've got Manchester City and not Manchester United because of the whole, like, the draw hadn't been done. So we're going to try this again. We are going to try this again. Haaland is back, but Melanda isn't. Melanda is now unfortunately suspended, so we'll have to play this game without him. Who gets replaced? It's Mumba. I'm happy with that. We're just going to hit play match and see what happens, because if it gets to the point where this crashes again, then I may just have to sim this game. And it has not crashed. Surprise, surprise. But moving... Alright, let's just move on. Let's just move on. Forget that happened. We're playing Manchester City now, not Manchester United. <sighs> this game sometimes, I swear. Greenwood. Over the top for Erling Haaland. On his return. Erling Haaland scores. 1-0. Good interception. Tanganga. Gives it off to Tito Fernandez over the top for Erling Haaland. He's got time and space. He's just going to yeet this back onto his right foot. It is 2-0. Good interception, Adnan Yanazai. Skips away from Cancelo. He's away from Ziyech as well. It's a Yanazai. It's sent Maximan at the back post. It's Greenwood who gets there first. He sort of Jackie Chan's that into the net. I want to see that again. Like, I'm so confused. So, Yanazai's down this left hand side. He crosses it in on the left foot. Yeah, he, yeah, Greenwood, like, Jackie Chan's that into the net. Yo, all right, three, nil. All right, guys, and your man of the match was Erling Haaland on his return from injury 9.6. Yanazai and Greenwood 9.5. Everyone else having a really decent game. Martinelli came on in the 70th minute for Haaland and didn't really do much, if I'm being honest. Apart from that, it's a solid 3 0 victory for us. Alright, guys, and then for Hume uh, is off and on his way to Manchester United for £87.7 million. Pound. 81.5 of that will be added to our transfer budget as soon as the transfer window opens. Uh, the Jeremy Frimpong transfer is now void um, given that the game crashed, so that is no longer happening. But we're getting even more money for a player that we don't need. So Denver Hume is on his way out. A sim game now against Everton. I do believe this is the last match of the of the episode. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, it's a skip job. And it's a 4-1 victory. We were already 1-0 up in the, like, the first few minutes. Anyway, it's a Yanazai with all four goals for us. Yanazai. Raha. Anyway, Leighton Baines getting a goal for Everton. But nah, Yanazai getting all four goals in this match. And at the end of this episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are second in the Premier League. So, we've climbed a place on goal difference above City. Um, I'm pretty sure we've got the highest goal difference in the entire league. We do. Look at that minus 69 for Crystal Palace. That is an oof. Brentford are back to being bottom. Uh, <laughs> no surprise there. But we have approximately nine games of the season left to go. So, it's probably two, maybe three episodes uh, in total that are actually yeah it might be actually just two um depending on what competitions we've got left champions league fa cup and prem so it might actually be three episodes uh left of this series before we actually start moving into um our plans for fifa 21 which a video will go out for that uh once the series is over but yeah moving into this the end of this episode there um I'm happy with that. I'm actually happy with how we're going. FA Cup quarter-final time or semi-finals. It's Fulham. That is an easy draw. That is an easy draw. That is an easy buy. That is a buy round for us. Um, we will either get Chelsea or Manchester United in the final of that. If we move into the Champions League quarter-final stage, it's Leipzig. Um, not bad there, actually. So we should beat Leipzig 
I'm hoping that Atletico Madrid beat Manchester United, but then again, Manchester United do have a really strong squad, so mm, could happen there. The El Clasico there between Madrid and Barcelona, and Spurs v Liverpool, an all-English tie there as well. So Liverpool to beat Spurs, I'd say Barcelona to beat Real Madrid, us to beat Leipzig, and Atletico to beat Manchester United. So we'll probably get Liverpool again for the third time this season. Um in the semi-final of the champions league but that's where i'm going to leave this episode ladies and gentlemen so thank you so very much for watching if you have enjoyed this episode drop a thumbs up it would be greatly appreciated if you're new around here hit that subscribe button and the notifications icon so you know when i release new content or go live like i said guys thanks for watching take care of yourselves and goodbye